I hear and read a lot about prioritization techniques and to product managers, they're obviously important. But today I want to talk about some prerequisites to prioritization, regardless of the framework or technique that you use. There are three things that you need, I believe, to do prioritization effectively. The first one is you have to have a strategy. Strategy is a course of action that leads us to success. It implies that I have a clear definition of success. And this definition of success will almost always be a key criterion in doing prioritization. We want to pick the things that are going to help us execute our strategy and become successful. So without that, prioritization is pretty meaningless. It tends to be very reactive and operational and not particularly value, so valuable. So make sure that you have a clear strategy and definition of success. The next thing I would strongly recommend is that you create buckets. Trying to compare some technical debt to this really cool new user feature doesn't make a lot of sense. So I would create some buckets like new features, evolving features, technical debt, discovery for future releases, whatever it is, and then define some top-down guidance and say, you know, based on where we are in the life cycle, what's going on, probably 30% of our capacity should go to tech debt. And then you look in the backlog, you put tech debt together and you prioritize within that bucket. And of course, as you do planning and as you do prioritization, that may impact the top-down guidance, but compare apples to apples. You will have a much better experience. You will come out with better priorities and probably more balanced releases that reflect your overall needs. Uh, the third thing that you need before you start prioritization is some type of estimate. I personally believe just having like this wish list that says, mm, if I don't have to pay for it, I'd rather have this than this, is almost useless. The level of effort required, which basically translate to cost, will always be an important criterion in determining priorities. So make sure you have something. It may just be t-shirt sizes. doesn't have to be really specific. You're not trying to get a commitment from engineering but you better have some relative idea of how much these things cost or your prioritization is probably not that valuable. So pick the technique you like. I don't have a strong opinion there. But before you start prioritizing, make sure you have a clear strategy and definition of success. Create some buckets with top-down guidance and prioritize within the buckets. And then make sure you have some estimates.